Okay, I have a pretty quick and easy project for you. And if you already have the sizzle sticks from Bullseye or something similar to this, uh, it'll be even quicker. So all I did was take black glass and cut the little sizzle sticks um, into small pieces and create sort of a mosaic on here and then fuse it and then put a bale on it. I'll have the link to the sizzle sticks and the bales in the description below. For this bigger one I'm going to use this wider sizzle stick and I picked rainbow so it's a rainbow throughout the stick. All of this came from this sizzle stick and I think there's oh around 10 or 15 in each one. They're kind of expensive, but I'm only using half of one to make each of these. And since I'm making a little bit smaller one, it'll be even less than half. Uh, but what's interesting about the rainbow is it's a different color from end to end. So instead of using all the same pieces, you might end up with all the same maybe orange or all the same green. You're going to want to take a little from here and a little from here and a little from here and a little from here. And that's why, my, and some from the middle, and that's why my stick is in pieces because I've cut it up kind of in thirds and taken bits from each side. So let me show you how easy this is. I'm using tile nippers. So you can use this kind or this kind, whatever your favorite is. Cut a little piece. I can see that I have a little gap right there, so I'll, I'll make a piece going the opposite direction. There, and I want to leave a black edge around it. These are going to shrink in a little bit because I'm not putting two layers of glass around the entire thing. So what happens is it shrinks in a little bit, kind of rounds the corners, and it creates that um, sort of eruption right there where this where the this glass is sort of merged up. So that makes it kind of interesting. Let's take some orange. I can kind of tell this is orange by looking at it just a little bit. All right, it didn't have much blue left. These little pieces right here look kind of like they're going to be the bluish purple pieces. I didn't have much of that left, so I kind of spread them around. I would uh, glue this down with a little hairspray. You know, I like using hairspray, and put it in the kiln. Let's do the next one. For this one, I'm going to use the narrower pieces, and this is about takes about one and a half of these in width to equal this other one. So it takes a little more to fill a space, uh, but they give you more in the package. So let me do the same thing. I'm going to spread them out the way I did here and in the way I did here, and I'm going to have them going different directions. Okay, these are all done. Uh, since these little sizzle sticks are coated with Dicro on one side, I chose to put the Dicroic coating down. You could certainly do them all up or mix them. You know, one, you know, up and down and up and down. I just chose to put them all down. So that is using half of a wider sizzle stick and half of a narrower sizzle stick. And this is on a one and a half by one and a half and I've used the wider quarter inch sizzle stick on it and the link will be below right down there and this is one and an eighth by one and a half and I have used the narrower sizzle stick that little skinny one 
And then you know my favorite is using, this is my favorite glue. So I will spray a little glue on there and that will just get it to the kiln for me. And I'll move these around a little bit. Uh, and I can wait until they dry and then uh, it'll be pretty hard, you know, just like glue to get it to the kiln. But generally, this just holds it in place until I can get it to the kiln. I don't even wait for it to dry, really. Uh, without putting anything down, the pieces like to really move. Uh, and I would spend quite a bit of time in the kiln setting them. Okay, so these are ready to go in the kiln. I'll put them at uh, probably 500 degrees per hour, that's Fahrenheit, and then up to, I will go 1450 degrees Fahrenheit and hold for 10 minutes and then off and let the kiln cool on its own. Don't open it until it's around 100 degrees or less because you don't want to stress your glass out. And when I'm done, uh, I'll show you what they look like with their bales on. Okay, they've come out of the kiln. These are the two that I just did and uh, something I noticed, I managed to put two of the pieces, or three of the pieces, um, with the dichroic coating up. See how you can see that dichroic coating. That, that, and that are dichroic coating up. But I still think it turned out pretty nice. I like it. And for this one, you know, you're just gluing the bale on these. Uh, I haven't done it on this one yet, so I thought I would show you. I chose the copper um, bale. And I'm going to rough this up a little bit with my little Dremel. I'll show you that. Be sure and wear a mask when you do this. You don't want to get that dust in your lungs. I take a little E6000. Put a little bit on that pad. And then attach it to the glass. Now you're going to wait a few minutes and clean up any excess glue that squeezes out. Maybe about 10 or 20 minutes. And you'll clean this up. Then you will let it sit. And at the end of 24 hours you will put it in your oven or your kiln at 275 degrees for about 20 minutes. And that cures the glue and then it will be ready to wear. Quite easy to make. Easy project and it doesn't take much glass at all. Alright, thanks for joining me. Bye, be cool honey bunnies.